him, isn't it? Did you say something? Me? Uh, nothing. Don't mind me. If you say so. Okay, guys, showtime's close, so I think I'm gonna get us some snacks. My treat. And then let's head inside. Uh, anyone here has a smaller bill? I think I do. Hold on. What's this? No! Give it back! It's just a paper. I don't care! Give it! Looks ancient, too. Why do you keep this around? What's the big deal? It's not like it's a love letter. I don't see any reason to... Hold on a second. This is, isn't it? Even if it is, it's not for you. Okay. Now I'm curious. I'm telling you it's nothing like that. It's... Send this to five people, or else. Well, that's... interesting. Um, guys, I think we should listen to Bella first. Aren't you a few days early for Halloween? It's not a prank. What did you say? This isn't a prank! I saw something! Hold on. Are we still talking about this paper? Or is it about the urban legend again? Both. I know it sounds ridiculous. You're saying this is a primitive version of a chain letter. And now that we've seen it, we're now cursed. You've got to be kidding me. See? This is why I didn't want to tell you guys! Isabella, aren't you taking this a bit too far? It's not a joke! Will you guys listen to me first? I saw something in the house earlier. It stood right in front of me. If I hadn't gotten away, that thing might have... Right. And in broad daylight, Isabella. Even someone gullible would find the logic in that screwed up. There's also no way in hell that this supernatural shit is true. But it's real! What do you think I saw? A hallucination? A delusion? Didn't you say you fell down some stairs? So maybe Rebecca's right. It happened after, when I was trying to get away. I almost got stuck in the same room with that thing. We're all in danger. I thought you were my friends. Why don't you believe me? We are, and you know that. But this thing and that thing has got nothing to do with the other. When Rose called earlier, I thought she's just exaggerating. But based on what I'm seeing right better if we really postpone this for now. Don't bother.
guys. Why don't we all calm down first? I'm sure Isabella has her reasons too. No need to be hard on her. And hey, ain't this supposed to be a happy get together? We haven't seen each other for months. I I'd really love to know what y'all have been up to. I only ever get to talk to Bella over chat. Please. If we keep arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. <clears throat> what was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby! I'm not one! Aw, oh, don't cry. Stop it! Okay, scaredy cat then. That too! If you repeat that, I swear I'll... <sighs> Let's just go. So, uh, you guys go catch up with her. I'll go get us the food, I promise. But you'll miss it. Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? And it ain't like I haven't seen it. I made it, remember? I'll be in there soon. Sure, it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Absolutely sure.
And then I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash. I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I can... I am not going back there. Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. There are no ghosts, Zack. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking. Maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? I didn't peg you as the religious type, Zack. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. You're not seriously considering a suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? I know where. I could contact him for you if you want. You do that? Or we can find you a psychologist instead. Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist, too, of course, if you... Ashton, if you don't stop... Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about, too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. And can you guys keep it down? Sorry, the scaredy cat here mentioned curses. Not that I'm saying this is one. But talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things, and probably put your fears to rest since this looks to be bothering you a lot. So, what do you think? It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I... I'll think about it, but if ever, I'd like to give talking to Andrew a try. Is that okay? Won't he have other things to do? He is a bit busy, but he'll make time for me. He's my go-to person when I'm stuck in something. He won't mind if I bring a friend with me this time. If you're sure. I guess that settles it then. Guys, I said keep it down. You keep insisting that we still watch it. You're not even paying attention yourselves. It ain't a big deal, Rebecca. I'm the one who broached the subject in the first place. It's still your film, Zachary. A good film, mind you. You worked hard on this. The least we could do is watch it with you. And that's what you're all doing. I really appreciate all of you making time for this. Sorry, Becca. We'll stop now.
Thanks for today, everyone! No problem, Zack. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Isabella? Earth to Isabella? Weren't you listening? Are you coming with me? Oh, I... yeah. Just... okay. Sorry, I spaced out. You always do that. See you guys some other time. Y yeah, see ya.
time is it? Oh man, of all the times to oversleep! Towel? Towel? Where's my towel? time for them to call. Hello? Hello? Grace? How are you? Mama! I'm doing okay. How are you guys over there? We're good, we're good. EJ won a storytelling contest at school the other week. Brought home a medal. I thought you should know. Great! That's great! Tell him congratulations from me. And let him know I'm gonna send him a little something extra this Christmas. How about Nico? Karen? Michael? I hope they're okay? They're doing well. They wanted to talk to you, but they're all busy with school. Oh no, that's fine. I don't want to bother them. Just tell them to keep doing their best for me. I'll just call back when I know they're not busy. And Papa? How's Papa doing? Grace, Papa's... he's having a little difficulty right now. Weak appetite, he's having trouble swallowing, and lost a few pounds. But the doctor said we should keep encouraging him. It just means his body's accepting his new treatment well. The money you sent last time helped a lot to pay for it, by the way. Oh. I see. Th that's good.
I'm sure he'll get better soon. Is he well enough to talk? Do you think I'll be able to speak to him, Ma? Listen, Grace. Maybe it's better if we transfer Papa to a different hospital. Somewhere cheaper? What? Why? Did something happen? Is it the deposit issue again? Give me the hospital's number. I'll talk to them. No, it's nothing bad. The service here is good. Too good. Even the doctors. But I'm worried you're working yourself to the ground because of it. Mama, we've been through this before. I want the best for Papa. And don't worry about the bills or the medicine, or me for that matter. I can handle myself. Everything's going well here. In fact, in fact, we're about to close a large sale. I'll have money to send over soon to cover the rest of Papa's treatment. And there's more than enough for Karen, Nico, Michael, and EJ's school tuition, too. Thank you so much, dear. I appreciate it. We all do. But I... I just wish you'd come home to us soon. be there to welcome me when I do, okay? Of course. I'm sorry, Grace. I need to take this for a while. Okay, Ma. I need to go, too. I've got work today. I'll call again soon, all right? On a Saturday? Oh, never mind. Take care of yourself, dear. I love you. I love you. Bye. Okay, Isabella. Time to get that mansion sold. Mama? Did you forget anything? Excuse you. I'm too young to be your mom. Are you still sleeping? Hold on, never mind that. Get yourself in the office. Hurry! Office? What about the open house? Oh no. Is it Sir John? Did he hear about yesterday? Am I in trouble? Oh god, oh god, oh god! I'm gonna get yelled at, aren't I? What do I do? Um, I'll buy you an extra box of donuts if... No, 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 it's nothing like that. Will you calm down? Get yourself here, alright? I'll tell you everything then.
Where the hell is C? Where are my employees? What the actual fuck, guys? Of all the times to disappear without notice. Here, I need you to help me with these papers. If you could also get these signed and photocopied before lunch today, that would be great. They're buying it? We got a deal? I had to do a little damage control, but they're already interested in acquiring the property, even before they attended the open house. I mean, isn't it obvious? They already hired an interior designer. I've never seen a buyer as aggressive as Madame Wright. She didn't even try to negotiate a lower rate. One at a time, Rose. I can't process everything you're saying at once. What do you mean? They're paying 15% higher than the listing price, as long as we get the paperwork done as soon as possible. I think if we allow it, they'll be paying up front, too. Even with that urban legend? Oh, I was so sure we lost the sale after yesterday. Don't look so surprised. We still have to conduct some last few checks before we completely hand it over to them. Please. I'll happily do the paperwork duty, Rose. I'll even go to the land registry myself and make sure the property changes hands with every single legal blessing. Why, if it isn't the little Lily? I trust you're feeling well now. 
It's Isabella, sir. Not Lily. I appreciate your concern. I'm feeling better now. I believe I can take that. Thank you very much. That settles it then? Uh, are you really sure about this property, ma'am? We could easily find you a bigger one among our current listings. Something with a modern touch? Why wouldn't I be? The house is absolutely perfect, isn't it, darling? A helipad would still be a nice addition. Yes, well, we'll get there eventually, love. As I was saying, if your partner had the documents yesterday, we would have bought it right there immediately. Shame she didn't have it. W well, there's still a few necessary documents we need you to sign after, but we'll let you know once we have those finalized. We'll be handling the process for the rest, so don't worry about it, ma'am. Within a week, I hope. We still have a housewarming party to plan, after all. You know how much thought to be put into those things. There are servants for that, darling. Love, servants or not, you're going to make people listen to your input nonetheless. No more than a week, ma'am. Barring unexpected delay, of course. You can leave it to us. Excellent. Well then, I'll leave you two to it. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, and before we forget... What happened the day before was quite... unfortunate. But you did get us what we wanted in the end. That, at the very least, is commendable. But this is... ma'am... I can't accept this. Don't you worry, darling. It's a small thing coming from us. Consider this your bonus for a job well done. <laughs> Oh, before I forget, my lovely interior designer would appreciate it if you hand her a copy of the floor plan as soon as possible. She's dying to work on the house. You can do that, yes? Here's her contact. C certainly ma'am. We'll have it processed as soon as possible. I knew I could count on you lovelies. I hope to see you too soon so we can get this closed. Thank you. 
Well, there... something. So how does it feel? How does what feel? Your first big multi-million pound sale, silly. I know you've been with us for years, but this has got to be memorable for you. Come on, show some enthusiasm. They gave us a bonus, too, aside from the commission and the other bonus boss promised. What are you going to do with it? I, I don't know. Send it home, probably? All of it? Not everything, of course. Most of it. I'll leave some for my living expenses. Listen here, Isabella. I'll teach you something I should have told you before we ended your training. It's okay to celebrate from time to time. I don't get it. It's simple. Go out, do something for yourself. Throw a party and treat your friends to free food. Didn't you say the last one's some sort of tradition back at home for you? Hello, this is practically a done deal. Uh, isn't throwing a party a bit excessive? Your call. I won't say no to an invitation, by the way, in case you really are planning to throw one. A few drinks would be nice, too. Thank you very much. I don't think my apartment's big enough for that. You could always move? Bloody hell, you're working in real estate. I think I'll pass. That's too much of an unnecessary expense for me. But I did promise Becca free lunch in case the sale goes well. You go do that. Hold on a sec. Today? Not a problem, ma'am. I could bring you a copy of the contract if... I'd be happy to discuss this over tea, ma'am. All right, I'll be there. Thank you. New client? Reassigned. Have you heard from Mark and all? Not since the first visit to the mansion. Why? No news from the HR yet? None at all. Boss thinks he ran away. I doubt it, though. He's too much of a wimp for that. There must be another reason. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, I've got to meet this one. I'll see you later.
Rebecca! Well, you seem to be in a better mood today. What happened? I know that smile, Belle. Come on, still! D don't rush me! Let's order food first, okay? Today's special for the three of us. Don't worry, it's my treat. Oh good. I'm so hungry, I think I'm dying. You're always hungry. Hey, not all the time. Let me guess, you skipped breakfast again. Not on purpose. I may have overslept by a few seconds today. Right then. Stop stalling, Isabella. What's this about? Let us say, Rebecca. She wouldn't be inviting us out if it wasn't worth hearing out. Well, we're waiting. I'm treating you guys to a once-in-a-century thing! I I'm sorry, say that again? And this is important because... You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. As of today, I, Maria Isabella Grace Cruz Santos, am free from my instant noodle binge. Seriously? Hold it, Belle. You sold the house? Yep. Which house is this? In Aslam Village? The one with the open house yesterday? The one and only. Come on, Becca. I know you've got a better memory than that. Oh. Oh. Wow, uh, that's... You don't believe me? I'm sure it ain't the way you're thinking, Bella. 
No, no, I do believe you. But don't you think the sale happened a bit too fast? The open house only started yesterday, and now you already have a buyer? It happens from time to time? Yeah, but... Look, I'm happy for you. Just yesterday, you've been really worried where to get money for your dad's new treatment. And now, all of a sudden, you have something. W what if the sale doesn't push through, or I don't know? They're a fraud, or they suddenly back out? Isn't it a little too early to celebrate? Rebecca does have a point, Bella. If you haven't closed the deal yet, there's still a chance they'll go back on it. Mm, they don't seem like it to me. The lady appeared to really want it, and she approached me without even finishing the tour. And she already hired someone to handle the house's interior design. You're joking. Who would do that? The rights, apparently. It's actually pretty funny. She's a bit too excited to get the property, she forgot to buy it. At any rate, they've already signed the agreement today, so it's just a matter of time. And don't tell anyone about this, but Ma'am Hannah also gave us something extra. Something as in... As in, it's why I can treat you two to a free meal. I'm more surprised you accepted it. She didn't really give us a choice in the matter. So don't lose sleep over this, okay? The couple really want the house. If Rose didn't stop them, they'd likely have paid up front for it yesterday. That's despite the legends, too. I even tried to show them the letter. But nope. I want this house, darling. Go take all our money. You don't really think they'd believe that, do you? I'm pretty sure for them, those are just rumors as well. No one is that superstitious in this day and age, Belle. Well, there's you. Right. You know what? I'll just eat all of these by myself. Don't go all pouty on me again. I'm just concerned you'll get hurt if this doesn't happen. I know how badly you want to close this deal for your papa. I'm sure he's gonna be fine now, though, with the money. They don't know yet. I think I'll call them tomorrow. Let them know things will be easier. Mama said this morning he's showing progress with the new treatment, too. It's just a matter of time. Are you sure you're not feeling under the weather, Zachary? Huh? W no, I I'm okay. No, no worries, Rebecca. Doesn't sound okay to me. It's... It, it's, it's okay. I might be feeling a little bummed out today. But, but I'm, I'm sure this will pass. Is it about the reviews this morning?
heard about those, huh? Sorry, I just happened to check on some sites this morning. No, no, it's it's it, it's a very sensitive topic in the first place. I, I should have expected it. What reviews? It's his movie. That doesn't explain anything. Stop dangling the information, Becca! Zachary, I'm not the one supposed to be telling her about this. It's still your documentary. Is it something bad? Not bad, per se. You, you, you guys don't need to dwell on it much. Bad? Listen here! I wouldn't trivialize what those bowheads wrote if I were you! They're ruining other people's jobs! 